Shalom, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, Bahashem, Raka Kadash. Uh, Yahweh being the, the name of the Heavenly Father, God, and Yahusha being who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, topic we want to get to tonight is that um, God. He's a so-called black man, and he's a racist. Um, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people really don't know that God is, I mean, Jesus, so-called Jesus Christ, with his real name being Yahweh Shai, that he's a so-called black man. They they want to, whether it be real life or, or through the social media, they want to post um, pictures of this fake pagan God, assuming that it's Jesus Christ, because that's what the so-called white man taught him. Um, so I just want to get that through the spirit and the fact that um, Yahweh he's a racist because he's only dealing with the nation of Israel um, that's that's who he taught the laws to that's who he gave these laws that's his commandments for and that's who the kingdom's for the kingdom's for Israel um, he's a just so he's a fair God because everybody get their chance to have their kingdom the so called white man got their kingdom now uh, the Chinese, they ran for a little bit, a little period of time. The Japanese, um, which is scriptural, the Japanese, the Japanese are the um, are the Ammonites. The Chinese are the Moabites. Um, the Africans, they control a period of time. All these other nations, they control a period of time. So everybody's had their kingdom, but it's now it's time. Um, for Jacob, 12 tribes of Israel, black, Spanish, and Native Americans to take back their kingdom because this world was made for our sakes. Um, let me get that first. Let me get that out of the pocket for Second Edges, chapter 6, and verse. 54, Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 54. And after these things, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right, so we've all came from Adam. And as it says in the scriptures, and the people that whom thou hast chosen. Whom he who has he chosen? Let me get that before I read on. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 1 Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen Israel, and that's being the, the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans and We know that through the curses. You read Deuteronomy chapter 28, and you find all the curses, they they um they belong to us. We we are under all these curses. We get shot down in the streets. Um the world the world was made for our sakes. Let me let me get that. Then I'm gonna say another point. Uh, verse fifty five. All this I have spoken before thee. O Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, because thou madest the world for our sakes, verse 56, and for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that fallen from a vessel. All right, so these other nations, they're nothing, they like spit to the most high, because when you spit, you go ahead and walk over it. Or you, and you go about your day, you don't think about it again. Um, they like a, it says they lock onto a, a drop that's falling from a vessel. So when you turn on the water hose or you turn it off and you, and you see a little drop that's, that just fell, you're not going to um, say, oh, let me pick that drop up. You're going to let it be and you're going to turn on the water and get the full water. You know what I'm saying? So these other nations, 
they like a drop to, uh, to a vessel. These so-called white people, they like a drop to a vessel to the Most High. Uh, the Hamanites, the Afri so-called Africans, uh, so-called Arabs, all these other nations, Chinese, Japanese, all these other nations, I like to, uh, to a drop to the Most High. Um, so he made the world for our sake. So under the curses, you, you got um, that, that we gonna have to buy we have to go to our enemies for food and for water. Uh, let me get that real quick. Uh, let me get back to the top of it. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 verse 48 Therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies which, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until ye have destroyed thee. Alright so we had the yoke of iron around our neck until we was destroyed and we was destroyed once we forgot our heritage. Because we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. As it says in um, Hosea 4 and 6, I believe. If I'm not, if I'm not um, mistaken. Um, but the topic was God is so-called black man and that he's racist. Um, I just showed you one verse. In the Apocrypha, 2nd Edges, chapter 6, and verse 54. On down that... Um, He's compared these other nations and to a drop of a drop that's fallen from a vessel. Uh, let me get one more. Let me get another another precept. Because precept must be upon precept to understand his scriptures. Um, this is like a this is like a puzzle. Like once you get a puzzle, you don't know you don't know you don't really understand it because you got to put the pieces together. The same thing with these precepts and with these scriptures. Precept must be upon precept, as it says in Isaiah 28 and 10. Precept must be upon precept to understand these scriptures. But, uh, <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. And, and, and Lebion is not sufficient to burn, nor the breasts thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. Right, so these sacrifices mean nothing from these other nations. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. So if you're counted less than nothing, you, you don't mean shit, um, part of my language. But you don't mean nothing to the Most High. So all these other nations, they mean nothing to him. Because he only, he only died for Israel. Let me prove that. Uh, Isaiah 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh by Hashem Yahashah with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So he's given everlasting salvation to Israel, these so-called black Spanish and Native Americans. So, so that's how we know that, that the Lord... Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Um, he's only dealing with Israel. He's a so-called racist. He don't like these other nations. And that's um, and that's his choice. Uh, let me get that real quick. I 
I know the topic, well, I'm, I am kind of on the topic. So I'm just going with the spirit. Romans. Right, Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he hath said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. Um, let me keep reading. For the scriptures saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised of thee, have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore he, therefore hath he, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy. On whom will he will harden? Uh, it's uh, I want to jump up to verse eleven, Romans chapter nine, verse eleven. For children, for the children, being not born yet, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It, is, it was said unto her, the old, the elder shall serve the younger. Right, so before they even done good or evil, the election was already chosen. Who's going to be of the elect of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? And that's Israel. We're his elect. We're his chosen. Uh, just like Abraham um, Abraham in Genesis, he had Ishmael, but Ishmael, he wasn't the chosen, he wasn't the chosen child. It was Isaac, you know, um, he has, he chooses who he wants. So, and, and Yahweh, he's righteous. He can't do unrighteous, you know, so you, you can't say that, um, he's not righteous for what he's doing because he's doing it for a reason, you know? Um, I'm proved that uh, um, the prophets, the prophets in the scriptures, they're all black. Um, they whitewashed the um, the wicked. They whitewashed all the um, they whitewashed all the judges. Like it says in Job chapter nine, verse twenty-four. Let me get that real quick. Job chapter nine, verse twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? And who is he? Right. Uh, only the so-called white man, he's painting himself to be God. He's painting himself to be um, so-called Jesus Christ, real name being Yahweh Shai. Caesar Borgir, that was an actual man. And he painted it. And he had Leonardo da Vinci paint a picture of, of himself. And he and um, the, the wicked, the so-called white man, Esau, in the scriptures, the Edomites, they portrayed that as so-called Jesus Christ. Now you got Israel, you got Black Spanish and Native Americans praising this false god, praising this damn devil, you know? Um, but, um, yeah, let me get, I'm going to stay in the book of Job. Job chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. Uh, let me get into the blue letter real quick um, to look up this word black. <sighs> Slacky, bear with me. Job chapter 30 and verse 30.
Shaker, 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 um, and, and it means to be black, to be black of skin. I oh, probably can't see it because the glare. And that glare is bad. Yeah, I probably can't see it, but it's you can look it up yourself. You get the Blue Letter Bible. It's an app, um, and that word black means to be black to be black of skin. So their skin was of a black complexion. Uh, let me get more, let me get more proof. Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. I am black, but comely. Comely meaning handsome. This is um, Solomon. This is Solomon saying, I am black, but comely. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kadar, as the curtains of Solomon, the tents of Kadar, those are, that's black. So he's, he's even saying that he's black. So all these, all these um, prophets that's in his book, they all black. Paul, he's from the tribe of Benjamin. He's so-called Jamaican today, you know? Um, uh, let me get a note. Jeremiah chapter 14 and two, I think. Yeah. Judah mourning and the gates thereof language, they are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. It says they are black unto the ground. So like when you um go we go to look up dirt, there's different shades of brown. And some soil is real black, you know? So they are black onto the ground. They of they of color. Let's prove that. Um in a blue letter, let's look up black in Jeremiah 14 and 2. Let's see if this is the same word from Job chapter 30 and 30. It's a different word. Let's see it. Strong's H, 6937. Kader. 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 It means to mourn, be dark, to be dark, to be darkened, to cause mourn, to grow dark. It means to be dark, you know? Uh, nowhere is in the scriptures does it say that they were so-called white man, um, you know? They were so-called of light complexion. Um, that's the wicked. Um, let me get another scripture on the, on the wicked. Paid in the likeness of their images. Um, let me get that. That's why they took the apocrypha out the Bible, you know? Um, because there's so much hidden knowledge in here that if we had it, um, you know, the, the wicked would be exposed. Um, but this is first, first Maccabees. I think it's 10. First Maccabees. Nah, I think it's 2. First Maccabees. First Maccabees 2 and 43.
So I got it. I looked that one out real quick. I wanted to get it. So on. That's no first Maccabees three and forty eight. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Uh, let me read up verse forty seven. First Maccabees chapter three. Verse 47, then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and, and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Right, these heathens, these other, really the so-called white man, because he's the only person we know as painting the likeness of God, um, so-called Jesus Christ and his angels. As as um in the likeness of a so called white man. Um, I got Job thirty three. There we go. Let me get the book of Daniels. This is a vision of Daniel. This is the vision of Daniel. Um, I'm gonna start at verse five. Daniel chapter ten, verse five. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. His body was also was like the barrel and his face as the appearance of lightning and his eyes as lamps of fire and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass polished brass is brown and the and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude so he had a he had a loud voice um, so called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans, we all really, we all have loud voices, especially the um, so-called black man. Um, you can hear them from a mile away when they're talking about sports. You know, they it seem like they they arguing, but they really just talking loud. You know. Uh, let me get another account and a revelation. Revelations 1 verse 1, the revelation of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, which, which Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, gave unto him. Like the revelation of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, which Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Let me jump to verse 14. No, I'm going to start at 13. Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and a girt of about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice the sound of many waters. So he had a, he had, he had a very loud voice, and he, polished brass. I mean, as a, 
It says, um, his feet like unto fine brass. Your feet the same color as your body. And his feet was like unto fine brass. So as it's a burn in the furnace, it says, um, and when you burn brass in the furnace, it's, it's dark, very dark. Uh, let me pull up the image. It says his hairs was white like were white like wool. I, I got I got a picture. I got a picture of what he could possibly look like compared to the image that they show us in this world, you know. See, this is the picture I... Oh, you can't really see it. Man, it's so blurry. You can probably see it just by, by going to the side. But this is a picture of a hair white like wool, feet as it burns in the, in the brass. You know, the feet is the same color as your body, so his body is the same color. You know, seven golden, seven um, candlesticks, you know, the white hair, and his eyes red. Can't really see it. Uh, but you can, uh, I got an Instagram. You go to my Instagram, Haya Kadash, Haya underscore Kadash 105. You can uh, look it up. Let me show you the picture that they try to portray us. This is the picture they try to portray. None of the features match, you know? Brown hair, like a dog. White, you know? Doesn't look like he burned in the furnace. Doesn't look like brass burned in furnace, I should say. So... They definitely off on the scriptures, according to the scriptures of the image. And most black spans and Native Americans, Israel, we don't know that because we don't open our books. The best way to hide, to hide something from us is to put it in a book. But as it says in Revelations 1 and 3, I'm going to read it. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written, therefore... For the time is at hand. Right, the time is at hand. Salvation. The time of Yahweh Shai coming back. So we gotta read. You know, we can't take the pastor's word, we can't take his word for it. Chapter 7, verse 48. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made by man, as saith the prophet. All right, so he doesn't dwell in temples, in temples made by man. People want to say, oh, I'm going to the house of the Lord. No, he doesn't dwell in, um, in temples made by man, made with hands, you know. He dwells within the 12 tribes, the black, Spanish, and Native Americans. Let me go back to Romans. Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. What, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? All right, so the fact that some don't believe, is that going to stop these prophecies? Is that going to stop um, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai coming back and putting destruction to this world? No. Um, verse 4 says, God forbid, which means no, hell no. Yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So let God be true, and every man a liar. What's written in here, that's what's true. Um, let me get another precept. 
said. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. This is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Whatsoever, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So whatever was written in the scriptures, as the as saying, what was saying is nothing new under the sun. It was written for our learning. So all these questions was asked before um, through reincarnation by us, you know. Um, and these scriptures, they give us comfort. Um, let's see anything else I want to do. get one more and close out. Second Timothy. Timothy chapter two verse fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we got to study to show ourselves approved to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah. That's Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of who the world enemy calls Jesus Christ, real name being Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, meaning anointed, the anointed Yahweh Shah. Um, uh, um, Christ means in the Hebrew. Um, anointed. So, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, the anointed, the anointed Yahweh Shai. So we got to study and show ourselves approved unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. We have and we have to rightly divide the word of truth, um, compared to this world and what's written in these scriptures. Uh, let me get one more. The Spirit. I think it's in Proverbs. bring this out just through the spirit because I got to it um, Proverbs 11 and 21 that um, though hand join in hand so like your though hand join in hand the wicked shall not be unpunished but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered the seed of the righteous being Israel and though hand join in hand though some Israelites might want to mingle with the other heathen nations make marriages with them the wicked will still be um, punished. They won't go unpunished. No matter if you try to save them your best as, as much as you want to um, in your heart, which the heart is deceitful, um, you want to say not all white people are bad, but though hand join in hand, the wicked will, will not be unpunished. close out with this last verse Proverbs 6 Proverbs chapter 6 verse 23 
For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. The reproofs of instruction are the way of life, to keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Right, so these laws, these laws, statutes, and commandments, they are light. Once you follow these laws, statutes, and commandments, you get a you get that light. You know, you can see the wicked from the righteous. Um and you you be and you're reproof for your for um for instruction. You you get the right way of living life. Um, you know. So these commandments they give you the right way to live and and this is the light. This is that lamp. And we're supposed to show forth our light, as it says in Matthews, we're supposed to show forth our light to the world. We're the light of this world. Um, so Lord willing he was edified um, give double honors to the apostles and elders that teach this truth um, that has been laboring for a long time um, that's why I learned this truth from the apostles and elders um, that's still out there sealing the elect um, teaching this sound doctrine that doesn't waver um, Brock Day Yahweh Brock Day Yahweh Shai Brock Day Yahweh Brock Day Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash, let's bless you, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, um, who the world calls God. His real name is Yahweh. We're supposed to praise His holy name, um, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and the Rakakadash, that's the Holy Spirit. So, call Hala, which means all praises. I mean, call Hala Yum is all praises. The Yum is. Um, it's the S on the end. So, call Hala Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Kadash. Um, that's all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit. So, I just gotta um, edify you on that. I'm gonna close out with call Hala Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Kadash. Shalom. Which means Salak <laughs> Shalom means peace. Um, Shalom Yasharala, peace Israel. Shalom.